sometimes one of your layers is missing crucial attribute information that you would like to use for, foot, for future analyses. For example, here I've got a use layer. When I open it up, I can see that it's fully described, it's got build-up areas, nature reserves, vacant areas, and agricultural holdings. So here, the attribute layer does tell me what the individual features are actually showing me. But let's say now I have another layer, for example, a zoning layer, that is missing crucial information. For example, in here I've got a lot of fields, so a lot of columns that give me information about this type of zoning. Here I've got a zoning code, so 14, 1, 2, etc. But I don't actually have a field that tells me what this code actually means. So for me, for all intents and purposes, it's actually meaningless. However, I do have a table that contains the zoning codes, as you can see here, the codes, and then, of course, the description thereof in the, in the column next to it, in the field next to it. So I would like to join that information to this particular feature class, its attribute table, and I would like to join on the zoning code. So zoning here contains the codes. This would be the foreign key in the zoning codes table. A code would be the, another foreign key here. The primary key is the object ID, and for the zoning layer, the same would apply. Arc always populates its own object ID by default, and this would be the primary key there. But they are linked by foreign keys, and I can join these. So what I do is I right-click the layer I would like to join on. I go to Join and Relay, and I add a join. I will get the tool from the geoprocessing panel, the Add Join tool. I would like to join the zoning layer with the zoning codes from the zoning codes table. You must specify which field to join on, so zoning, and here we've got codes as well. So this would be a simple way of performing a join, an attribute join from one table to the other. Once the tool has executed, you can go back to your zoning table and you can see here we have now added an additional two additional three columns actually the zoning codes from the zoning codes table the original object id is carried over as is the code as well and you can see that here so we have now know that for example this particular parcel over here is considered as group housing under the zoning codes that we have extracted from the zoning codes table. You would have noticed when we ran the code or the tool before, I had keep all target features checked, meaning that I will keep all entries within my zoning table and I will link the zoning code information to these entries if the information is available. If it is not available, it will those um, fields will be populated with null values as you can see here. So there are actually quite a few zoning parcels that don't have any zoning code or sensical zoning code that I can identify attached to it. If you would have kept this unchecked, and there's a little information pop-up toolbox for you. So if you kept it unchecked, you would be doing an inner join. It's a one-to-one -one join. If you have it checked, you would be doing an outer join, which is a one-to-many join. If you have it unchecked, the one-to-one -one join will ensure that you only retain those entities where there is information for both tables, for the zoning table and the zoning codes table. So once we have set up everything this way and we're going to be doing a one-to-one -one join, we're going to run it again. This is the output. I now have 17,970 zoning parcels that um, were joined. And if you want to know what the difference is between an inner and outer join, so this is the number of parcels once I've done the join. If I now remove the join, you will see that you actually have a lot more parcels than that. So if I remove the join, you'll see you actually have an original number of 18,322 parcels. What that tells me is that there are quite a number of parcels in this layer that do not have any zoning information. 
in further investigation, you'll find that it's actually the zoning code zero that seems to be the problem. There are some parcels here that have been given a value of zero, but in the zoning codes table, there is nothing on zero. It's actually starting at one. So you cannot join anything to these values here. So when you do it one to one join, these instances will not lo no longer be shown. They fall away. If you do a one to many, they will be kept. However, they will then have a null value associated with them. So just have a look at that. So the zeros will not have any information in the zoning codes description.